did you get to know each other? How did you? Goodness. Uh, I think I can answer that one. Yes. Uh, because I used to know your mum and dad before I knew you. Mm. And when I was at the Burton Art Gallery, and uh, they used to come in when I had that little workshop at the front of the gallery, and I'd be chipping away, and they s said to me, I think our daughter would like your work. And then months later, you came in, and you did. <laughs> and I liked your work as well. So, um, And that was, well, they were both alive then, so it's a long time ago, isn't yes. it? Yes. In the early... Decades. 80s, Must have maybe? been in the early 80s. And then I've been in awe of Hillary's trajectory through wood, yeah. wood engraving society. Uh, and she's such a hard-working person and well-organised. I like myself. So, yes, that's it. Admiration for the work, admiration for the person. How did you get started in the world of art? <laughs> and well, well, interesting, following on from what John was saying, I started out as a sculptor, but in stone, and it wasn't until I had children and it just became too difficult. Mm. I was trying to work in the kitchen and there were complaints about grit in the food. <laughs> and my son had his bulldozers on the floor around my feet. And I had to keep tidying up and it was just impossible to keep going. And I could just pick up a block, you know, at the end of a meal or something and do a little bit on the table without having to worry too much about anybody else. And it, it just took over. Yes. <laughs> and what, what did your family think about you becoming an artist? Oh, they were very pleased. But when I took up sculpture, my mother made me change to dress design. Because there was a job in it? Oh, she didn't think sculpture was suitable for a girl. <laughs> and I did dress design for three weeks and then fled back to the <laughs> sculpture. It was one of the rare times when I was able to defy her. She was a very strong woman. She was, yeah. yeah. And, and John, what, what about your family? Did they think it was a good idea? Or well, did they not? Yes, they, they were very encouraging. Mum was, was very artistic. She still got, I've still got her school books and they're beautifully illustrated and things like that. And essentially it was the only thing that I was really good at. So it was the only way I was going to go. They were just worried about how I was going to make a living. Mind you, I was worried about how I was going to make <laughs> But I managed it through, yes. through uh, uh, by being a bit cunning and being a bit adaptable. I've always been able to make a living, which has left me sort of neither rich nor poor, just somewhere in the middle. And John, your inspiration is often people and observed people yeah. and the local... And certainly um, Biddeford's full of uh, source material, <laughs> often just wandering past the workshop window, so um, there's no shortage there. Mm. It's, it's just being in tune with it, really, and just mm. picking up on things as they go past and grabbing them and mm. get them in a sketchbook and uh, then working it up from there. Maybe even years or decades later, mm. you can go through and see a drawing and think, yes. oh, I can do something with that. Yes, I've done the same with... Um, but mainly landscape, because I, I love being out in the hills and the <coughs> rocky shore and so on. Mm. And sometimes it'll be ten years later that I see a drawing that I can use, sometimes in conjunction with something else, so it's mm. background, but mm. sometimes just as a straight straight view. Yeah. Before this interview, I was sort of searching around things that Hilary and I have in common, and when I started wood carving, I used to use images from Thomas Buick quite a lot. Mm. Uh, late 18th century, early 19th century mm. artist mm. based in the northeast of England, mm. do these beautiful little woodcuts of. Uh, he really so invented wood engraving. Yeah. It's it's yeah. the only purely English craft. There have been mm. similar mm. work in other mm. and mm. other countries, but he he's. Because it's using the end grain of, yes. uh, of that hardwood. Mm -hmm. oh. German wood engraving was using the planks of wood and so it's much more grainy and coarser. But you can get beautifully tiny little images on, yes. on the end grain, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and of course Hilary is uh, uh, very much uh, in love with Thomas Burek's so yes. work, aren't you? you know, yes. So mm -hmm. We both see him as a, a source artist. And the plough, have you? Have either of you exhibited at the plough before? Yes, I've exhibited twice. In fact, the first proper exhibition I had was in the plough in 1986, I think. 
and that really set the ball rolling and it's stayed rolling ever since. No, it's my first time at the Plough. And what about existing together? Have you ever done that before? No. No, surprisingly. No. Um, Hilary's yes. got some of my work, I've got some of hers as well, but when you, you see it together, you think, oh yeah, that, it just works together somehow. We, we're both interested in the same things. It's something about empathy or something, and, yes. and craftsmanship, and all those uh, elements that seem to work together. I, I'm, mm. I, my daughter said she thought it was going to be a stonking exhibition. Oh, so that's good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Thank you very much. Thank you.